<laughs> hey guys, I'm currently in Prague. I'd say this is the most beautiful city that I've ever been to. Um, it almost feels like Disneyland, just the most amazing architecture. It's almost like this sort of like castle architecture. Um, tons of people walking around. This might be the, the most favorite city that I've ever been to and I've traveled a decent amount. Really cool place. Um, anyways, I'm in this park right now. I kind of just wanted to get away from people and kind of just be in a more relaxed atmosphere to make this video. Traveling alone is just kind of really overwhelming at times. So I just kind of wanted to just relax, chill in the park for a bit. I know this doesn't really look like a park, but there's like a park here. I'm uh, against the wall right now in this park. But anyways, I just wanted to take time um, to make a video sharing with you guys who have been the most influential people in my life, um, especially over the last couple of years. And for the most part, I'm going to be sharing public figures. Um, so people I could tell you about and then you can, you know, you could like Google them and see if maybe if you could get inspiration or content from these individuals as well. Um, so I'll just get right into it. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm going to be reading from my notes every once in a while. I kind of have a list of all the people and stuff. So the first one, which is kind of funny, is Ziz. <laughs> and now um, Ziz was this person who... Uh, at like the age of like 16 or 17, he was this like super skinny loser, World of Warcraft playing nerd. And by the age of like 22, he basically, between those time periods, he went to the gym like every single day and created like the perfect body. And he created this huge online movement that inspired tons of guys to go work out and like lift weights and uh, improve their aesthetics. <laughs> Looking back, it's all like pretty funny. But when I was 19, I dropped out of college after a quarter and I didn't really know what to do with my life. And I stumbled across Ziz online. And from about 19 to, to a, you know, for about a year and a half, I went to the gym five days a week, like no matter what, I had a really great diet. And I went from being super skinny at 165 pounds to actually going all the way up to 205 pounds. I gained 40 pounds of muscle. Like lots of you guys are always commenting on my videos, do you even lift? Cause I look really skinny now. Um, and I've, you know, I've, I've, I've lost most of that muscle weight, but I, I went through that whole gym period uh, back in the day. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm starting to sound old. Um, but that was a really, uh, looking back, it was kind of a superficial period of my life, but it was a period of lots of self-empowerment. And I woke up every day with purpose. I would weigh myself right in the morning and I knew today was going to be like biceps day and I was going to eat healthy. Every day, you know, I was seeing myself improve in life, which was perfect for me at 19 years of age. So um, first person I want to give a shout to was Ziz. Um, the second person is Steve Pavlina. And I also stumbled across Steve Pavlina's blog probably around the age of 19. Uh, Steve Pavlina has this blog called Personal Development, Development for Smart People. And I just got hooked on this website. Um, just tons of articles that have the craziest content that really get you thinking about what life is and what reality is and really inspiring articles to just like be honest to go after your goals and it's not like your typical like Tony Robbins motivation stuff but it's actually stuff that like makes sense intellectually it's like really really deep content um, he was really like my first real guru and um, in uh, 2011 and 2012 is like content and almost it was almost like his content was like almost like designed perfectly for me like if I had a problem, like the next day, he would have like re released an article that was almost like directly for me. It, like really free <laughs> freaked me out. Um, and he, he was the one who really got me uh, introduced to like the topics of like synchronicity and like seeing this world in a more magical way. Um, he was the one who I did Imaginary Men with, um, if you haven't checked out that program with. And uh, he just had a huge impact on my life. Uh, big thanks to Steve Pavlina. I highly recommend you to go to stevepavlina.com and just like go to the archives and just like scroll around and uh, pick some articles that you feel inspired to click on and just see what he's all about. All right, so uh, the next one would be uh, Alan Watts. <laughs> and now uh, Alan Watts is kind of like a wizard. He just really gets you thinking. I think he has the most like accurate insight into uh, like spirituality and uh, what life is. Um, I've talked about Alan Watts a lot in the, lots of my videos, but I would say it's a must. If you if you like my videos, it's an absolute must thing to do to just YouTube search Alan Watts 
and watched watch a bunch of Alan Watts videos. This guy's just a wizard. He speaks magically about everything. <laughs> it's it's just awesome stuff. And um, if like I've probably watched if you search Alan Watts, I've probably watched like 200 Alan Watts videos. Like I've gone like through to like page 20. I've watched like every single one. Definitely uh, check out Alan Watts if you don't know much about Alan Watts. Uh, all right, the next person uh, I wanted to give a shout to is RSD Tyler. Or that's kind of his pseudonym, but his real name is Owen Cook. And um, as you guys know, I've always been like a late bloomer with girls. And I've always felt almost, I, I, I've always felt that I've had like a very different brain than most people. It's, I, I, I just think as deeply as I can. And I, I'm also really sensitive to energies. And um, when I first found out about RSD Tyler, I almost saw a person who I could relate to more than anyone else in the world, actually. Um, he was this like really nerdy, nerdy guy, but he was taking his nerdiness into becoming an awesome person, which is like kind of what I do. He was taking his nerdiness on how to like attract girls. And like what he says is like amazing stuff, like brilliant stuff. And um, back when I was super awkward with girls, the energy I got from Tyler was an energy of like, all right, you have something you want to improve on, let's go fucking take action. Uh, and because of RSD Tyler, I've probably approached, you know, like thousands of girls with him and mainly being the inspiration from that. Um, and I've really overcome lots of my insecurities with girls because of just the, the energy that I've gotten from like RSD Tyler's content. Um, check out his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash RSD Tyler, I think. Uh, and I'll, I'll put like links to everything in the description. But the energy RSD Tyler has is just like the super motivating take action energy and it's a it's a really brilliant energy and um, I almost feel I, I had lunch with him actually one day and I almost felt like this psychic connection with him um, he had a way of when he was talking to me of just like unleashing things from my unconsciousness and actually uh, that night when I after I had lunch with him I had like all these crazy dreams like almost wearing me of my insecurities it was like a mystical experience uh, it was some cool stuff so a big shout to RST Tyler he's a, had a big influence on my life um, the next person I want to talk about is uh, Shogo Garcia. And um, I'd say the person who has actually impacted my life the most in the last two years has been uh, Shogo. Um, Shogo's, more, Sh Shogo's a friend of mine, like a person who I hang out in, in real life a lot. He's not like a public figure who I'm like just a, getting content from, but he's, he's been more of a friend. But um, Shogo has a YouTube channel where he shares a bunch of amazing insight and he has a website I'll put links to everything in the description but um the real value I got from Shogo was kind of just to uh, be in the flow and enjoy life um, and after being in this like really big pickup mentality that I especially got from uh, RC Tyler and taking action Shogo showed me almost like this almost other paradigm of like just going with the river and I've actually uh, while I was like going out and talking to a bunch of girls and like trying to conquer the world like because of like the RC Tyler's energy which is which is beautiful Shogo kind of like balanced that out for me he was like are you conquering the world like are you asserting yourself in the world because you want like because you love doing it or are you actually trying to prove yourself you know that's kind of the energy Shogo Shogo gives Shogo has this very like secure energy where it's all about doing what you love and connecting authentically with girls. And I've actually improved the most out of like anyone's content or just anyone's energy from Shogo's energy because I don't know if, if you just like meet Shogo in real life, you could just see uh, how he interacts with girls and just how he interacts with people in general. And it's, he's just in this complete flow that if you like look at most people in like the pickup community, uh, they're all completely disconnected from this flow. It's almost like they don't even know this flow exists. And Shogo is just like in this flow of nature where he's just like connecting with people and connecting with girls in this really beautiful way where it's like this outflow where he's not focused on him but focusing on just enjoying the moment and treating everyone equally. And uh, Shogo has a really uh, like beautiful energy that really kind of balanced me out and made me a, a, a really secure person, I'd say. Um, and like I said, I'd say he's been the person who's impacted my life the most over the last two years. He's kind of like my guru right now. Um, it's funny, like half the ways he impacts me is through his content and through his ideas when he's like trying to teach me something. But half the way he like impacts me is we'll just be talking and I'll be like thinking about something and he'll say something uh, almost like that way in Steve Pavlina where he'll like answer 
where he, he'll like tell me something that like super clicks in my head. And it's not when he's like trying to teach me something, but he'll just like do something and it'll like click in my head and he doesn't even like realize he's teaching me, <laughs> which is uh, kind of funny. And that, like what I just said, is kind of the energy that Shogo has taught me, that not trying energy, that it, it'll just happen if you do what you love. Um, <laughs> kind of funny. Um, so definitely check out Shogo, huge uh, influence on my life. He's almost, he kind of just like walks around like a Jedi compared to lots of like the pickup artists. He's just like in this flow and could just like, I don't know, but anyways, next person I want to give, give a shout to is Ron Paul. Um, I actually disagree with lots of his political ideas, but I remember like two years ago, was, or maybe longer, I was really, in, I, I learned about Ron Paul and I found a politician who, who was completely honest and I could just tell he was coming from a good place. And um, I was looking at like Barack Obama and Mitt Romney and I was seeing these two like puppets who were just saying whatever to get votes. Um, I, 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 I don't, I, I'm, I'm not here to like talk politics with you guys, but I saw all these political candidates as fake people. And then suddenly I saw Ron Paul, even though he had lots of crazy ideas about life, he was actually speaking his truth in politics. And that really inspired me. And that's partly why I speak my truth in these videos, because that inspiration I got from Ron Paul. And um, when I look for a leader, I don't look for like Mitt Romney or Obama who are just like saying whatever just to get votes and are these puppets, but I'm looking for someone who's willing to say controversial things and willing to say what he really thinks. That's a cheerleader. That's what America really needs. And um, I got lots of, I, I learned lots of leadership qualities from Ron Paul and um, I just thought he was someone I really, someone who deserved a shout out. Um, next one, Jesus. <laughs> um, I was born Christian. My parents took me to church most Sundays um, until, you know, I was like a teenager. And, um, I, I, you know, I, I was a Christian as a kid. And then, uh, like, 17, 18, 19, 20, I was basically, I'd, I'd say an atheist probably. Um, I thought Jesus had lots of great lessons, but I was like, what the fuck is this nonsense? But um, last couple of years, and especially because of Alan Watts' influence, I've kind of almost reconnected to Jesus. And, um, I, as I've talked about, I think we're all God, and Jesus was just someone who's realized that. I think I'm a son of God just as much as Jesus is the son of God, and I think Jesus is extremely misinterpreted. Um, I'll talk about that in uh, future videos. But I think there's lots of lessons in uh, Jesus' story, and I've learned to like think about those lessons in a much different way now. Um, uh, just imagine someone having like such faith in life as Jesus, and imagine like the roller coaster of his life, like his last week. Like, uh, knowing he was going to get, like, I, I don't think Jesus knew what was going, going to happen, you know? It's like, he was a, whatever you believe, I, I believe Jesus was a real person. Who knows what's actually true? But imagine, uh, I bet Jesus is maybe thinking in the back of his mind, uh, like, miracles was going to be happening, he was going to be saved. And maybe he wouldn't die on this cross. And all these crazy things could have happened because he's had all these mystical experiences. And it didn't. And then he died. <laughs> and, um... I, I'm just like imagining that experience and the, I, I just think it's a really cool story whether you believe in Jesus or not and there's just tons of lessons to learn, um, especially the biggest lesson of just not judging people. I think that's probably Jesus' biggest lesson of just not judging anyone and um, that, that's really impacted me. And um, the last uh, shout out I wanted to give isn't a, a public figure, but um, it's my parents, um, Elizabeth and Tom Eilers. And um, looking back at my life, I've, I think I've, I had like the perfect childhood. Um, at like maybe 19 or 20 there, I, I, I would have thought, uh, I wish my parents raised me differently. But now at uh, 23, I look back and I, I think my parents raised me perfectly. <laughs> um, I was spoiled a lot, um, but I have very little complaints about how I was raised. I think my parents basically did a perfect job. Uh, my mom loves to spoil me, but I, I truly feel unconditional love from both my mom and my dad. Um, I get different energies from both of them, but I'm just super grateful for how my parents raised me. My mom just always showers me with love all the time. It's actually kind of annoying a lot. Um, I, I'm like trying to become my own man and then my, my mom always has to like spoil and shower me. Sometimes I almost feel like Buddha, kind of. I, I had a really good childhood. And um, my dad, uh, I think, gave me that like challenging uh, 
truth nature that I have where I'm always trying to search for truth and I, I like to challenge people and um, lots of times I'll be talking to my dad um, and he'll say something that kind of stays in my mind for like the next couple months. He probably doesn't even realize this. I don't think I've told him. But every uh, two or three times a year, he'll like say something. Like for, for my entire life, two to three times a year, he'll like say something that like really clicks in my head. I was like, oh, that's, that makes, that's how it, what I should be doing. That's what makes sense. And uh, it's something that just like really clicks in my head that I remember. Um, my dad just has this really wise insight on lots of things. And you can think creatively about lots of things. Um, and I was just super loved by both my mom and my dad um, throughout my whole childhood. And um, like now that I'm 23, uh, it's, it's weird. Lots of memories from my uh, childhood uh, randomly come back to me now. Uh, like I, I, I think a cool thing is maybe my mom and dad uh, don't know how much I appreciate them. But now lots of times like memories come back from like oh, a memory from when I was seven, a memory from when I was 16. Oh, my dad really... Uh, like helped me with sports a ton and was my coach and played sports with me all the time. Oh, my mom, like just loved, <laughs> like, the, like cuddled with me in my bed when I was like five years old, like four years old all the time. And she was just super loving and always took care of me no, no matter what. She always knew what to do. And um, all these memories, as I get older, lots of these memories come back. And I, I, I remember almost lots of the little small details that my parents did to show me love. And um, I really appreciate that. And it's my mom and dad who really, uh, have made me the person who I am today. And um, I s strive to make them proud and to live a good life. So uh, I love you, mom and dad, and uh, thank you for raising me how you did. <laughs> so um, um, I, I think that's it. Um, I'd say those are the people who have been the biggest influences in my life. Um, I'd maybe I'd give a shout out to my sister and my grandma too. They've been really big influences in my life and like lots of my closest friends. like. Fred, Bucky, Judson, Jeffrey. I, I have so many close friends. I don't even want to like talk about them because I want to leave someone else. But I've had so many amazing people in my life. And I just wanted to say thank you and I love you all. Check out the description for like a link, uh, list and links to all those influential people. Um, so uh, Morton, someone I want to add more had a great impact in my life. <laughs> awesome guy, Canute. Um, but yeah, check out the description. If I didn't say someone, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I just very spontaneous video. I'm, um, I, I mainly wanted to share public figures in this video to give value to my audience. Um, I love you guys and have a great day. Peace.